Okay, so I posted yesterday that I was going to try a mix that I looked up online. I did the baking soda with the water and I sprayed it all down in that petunia bed that I told you about that I have. Well, okay, so the outcome is, okay, it seems to have worked. I don't have as much mold or mildew actually the white that was there because there was I mean, there was a lot of fungus there was mushrooms and there was all kinds of stuff growing there so I did spray that yesterday and I said that I would post a video to let you know how that went and so I'm going to show you a little bit of kind of how that went if anybody can see any of this white that's all in through here that white actually looks a lot better than it did yesterday. I can't even begin to tell you how much better it looks. So, now that I've done it, I can tell you that it absolutely works. So, for anybody out there, if you have mold, mildew, fungus, any of those things, um, and you want to know how to maybe treat it, guys, this is the thing to do. Because I don't know if I shared this before, but previously what I had done was I had tried baking soda, oil, and dish soap. And I mixed all that together and I sprayed all that down. Well, that didn't work. It did not work at all. So I, again, like I said yesterday, I tried something different. I tried the baking soda with just water. I'm sorry, not baking soda. What are we talking about? I did peroxide, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I did peroxide. So scratch everything I just said, guys. Completely eh, erase it. I was wrong. I did peroxide in water. And for anybody that needs to know what the measurements or anything of that was, I put in a gallon pump sprayer. And I, to every cup of water, you're going to want to use a teaspoon of peroxide. Oh, God, I keep getting this wrong. I keep wanting to say baking soda. Not baking soda, guys. Peroxide, okay? Peroxide. So, let's try this again, shall we? Peroxide, guys. <laughs> to every cup of water, you want to use a teaspoon of peroxide. So, that is what I did. That, I can tell you, absolutely worked like a charm. I'm going to do another application and see how that works. Because, like I said, it did work. Absolutely worked. It it looks so much better than it did yesterday. If anybody saw my video yesterday, it looks a hundred times better. So I'm going to do another application and we're going to check it back and see how that kind of went. But I wanted to at least post a quick little video and let you know that the peroxide and water absolutely works, guys. Um, so if anybody's looking to try it because you have mold, mildew, or fungus, guys, try this because it works. And I guess that's it for me. And I will post another video tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow what we'll try and do is... Oh, wait. I know. I actually... I ordered from HTD Supply. Um, I ordered a bunch of five-gallon and two-gallon pots. I have to... I have some things that need to be transplanted. I have a bunch of... Oh, let's, well, let's take a walk. I'll show you what I got, okay? I have... Let's show you what I got here. I have these right here. These are my tomato seedlings. And those are, these are my, uh, my super sweets. These are my yellow pears. And these are my large cherry tomatoes. I planted those. Oh, I don't have the date on it. Oh, maybe I do. No, I planted those back in July. August. Yeah, I planted them back in July. <laughs> Sorry. Planted them back in July. On July 1st is when I planted those. And that is what they look like right now. They are growing. They are just doing great. I can't even begin to tell you how great they're doing. But they're in the process now where they need to be transplanted into something a little bit bigger. So what we'll do tomorrow is I got all my pots in. So I'm super proud. I'm super happy about that. I got all my pots in. I got my five gallons, my two gallons, and I got all kinds of other stuff. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. I will pull everything out. And we'll go ahead and we'll do some transplanting tomorrow. I also have a lot of, I have basil, a lot of basil that needs to be transplanted, as well as some cilantro and some parsley. So that's what we'll work on tomorrow. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. So thanks for watching. And as always, 
Please like and subscribe. I could use all the support I can get. Anything is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.